Welcome to today's new tool. So this is the Makita HSO 600 circular saw. The reason I got this one is because it's cutting depth. So this one can cut 105 mil, I think they advertise it as, which will be enough to cut a sleeper in one go. It's big. The box itself is massive and heavy. So I imagine the saw inside will be equally as big and heavy. Let's have a unboxing. The first impressions are, wow, it is big. Jeez, <laughs> it's huge. So here we go, Ooh, and heavy. So this is the saw. Looks fairly straightforward, it is heavy. It looks well built. It's got a nice little grab handle on the front there, looks quite good. All the usual things you'd expect from a circular saw. It's got your angles at the front, level, and that's change of depth. Saw blade retract, and the key to change the blade. So first impressions are, it's big, but I guess that's what I wanted. Heavy, wouldn't want to use it all day, um, every day, but I think for one-off cuts it should be good. Let's go and try it out. So this is the reason I got this saw, is to cut through big old sleepers. So I've marked up my sleeper along here. This is the first time I've used this saw. So let's see how it does. has got some power behind it. It takes a while to get up to speed and a while to stop but actually that cut is beautiful. Slight bit of tear off there and wouldn't quite go through the end. But other than that it had absolutely no problems cutting through it. So really pleased with it. Let's have another go, another one and see how we get on. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or not. Um, I've made two cuts through it now, and each time, as it gets to the end of the cut, the saw has got some kickback. I don't know whether my sleeper wasn't quite level. What I've done is I've tried to get it as level as I can. I don't know whether it was slightly just tipping down and binding, but we'll see. I'll have another go. But so far, I'm not super impressed. We'll um, give it another go. quite hard to use it, it felt like it was binding again and can kick back so I stopped I don't know whether I need to just do it on a completely flat surface now a sacrificial piece under it I might try that with the next one wait one minute okay so what I've done now is I've got a little sacrificial piece of wood in there so the sleeper is completely flat now Let's hope that cures any of our kickback problems. No, 
rope is still binding up as it gets to this back edge. Don't have any solutions now. I mean, it's completely flat. Let's move it over a smidgen, try again. So it's not, the wood's not bending at all. Do I need to go quicker, slower? I don't know, try again. Worked that time. So it's really key to keep it as flat as you can. Uh, I think putting a little sacrificial bit of wood under it was a good idea. And you can see I only had it out sticking out a little mill and it wasn't quite flat. So really important to get it super flat or it does kick back and it is quite vicious when it does. But I guess it needs that power to cut through the sleeper. So it is what it is. Let's do one more with this sacrificial piece in and see what happens. You find me back here, still cut your sleepers. So I have found a workaround whereby I cut it one way, three quarters of the way through, nine tenths of the way through, turn the saw around and come back the other way. It's not ideal. I wanted this big saw just to go one through, but um, I'll show you my workaround so we don't get kicked back. So, no kick back that way. The end is okay. It's not quite as good as you'd get with just one pass, but I think that's probably the safest way to do it. And actually, it is still much tighter than anything you'd get with a smaller circular saw, having to cut it, flip it round and cut it again, or use a chainsaw. So, I'm 60% happy. It's not ideal. It's not done exactly as what I wanted, but we can make it work. So now we're back in the workshop, I thought I'd give you a quick little summary of the lovely Makita here, the Makita HS0600. It's okay. Um, I found that cutting super, super slow was the way to go, otherwise you do get kicked back. And it is a bit of a beast when it does kick back because it is big, so you've got to be super careful with it. When it starts up, you do get a real kick at the start as well. So again, you've got to be careful. It is. Well, I keep saying it's a beast, but it does a job and it leaves a clean cut. So it's not perfect, but it's about 80% there. Um, that's about it really. Would I recommend it? If you've got lots of sleepers to cut, yes, but you do have to be careful. It is, it could easily do some damage. Well, that's it. Any other reviews we want to know, let me know. Put a comment down below, any equipment, and I will see what I can do.